Good morning, Laguna Woods. I'm glad to be with you today. This, this is going to be our last show from Germany uh, as we visited our, our family who lives here. I wasn't even going to do this show, but we were able to go to a small home Bible study group last night and that my daughter and her husband Rob are, are in. And there was a lot of talk at that study about if only I could see a miracle. If I could see a miracle of God, then that would be great. Well, the fact of the matter is miracles do happen because they're a, a, a form of answered prayer is a miracle. And that does show they were right to see what God does. In fact, I, I couldn't help but, so I'm gonna read this one verse from Hebrews chapter two, verse four, that said, that God bore witness by signs and wonders and various miracles. So the reality is, is that indeed God does uh, want to show himself by the way he answers prayer. Well, Holly and I, uh, a few years ago, well, a few years ago, come on in, Holly. You remember Holly McGee from, from yesterday? And uh, cause your daughter, also. yeah, my daughter, <laughs> and it used to be Bradford, now <laughs> McGee. Uh, but I took Holly, or she and I went to, to Beijing, China in 1990. Now, as you may recall, the Tiananmen Square incident was early in that year, right? And, and uh, we went late in that year, right at our Thanksgiving time, but because of all the up rising in China, almost no Americans were going at that time. But I had United Miles, so we decided we'd go to China. I always a, wanted to go to China. Yeah. I was very little, so. So we decided what we would do is take in some Bibles. Uh, Bibles were very, very rare in that communist, uh, atheistic government at the time and restrictive. So we thought we would take in some Bibles. And you, you remember that? So yes. we decided that we got Chinese Bibles. And I had had an amazing experience taking Bibles into Romania. And if you haven't seen those on YouTube, it's, it's, it uh, shows 17, 18, and 19. And I hope you'll go back and watch those. Those were amazing miracles. But when you take your 10-year-old daughter in, that you really start praying that, Lord, would you allow us to get these Bibles in? As we're flying over on literally a 747, they come on the loudspeaker and say, when you get off the plane, there's going to be two lines, a red line and a green line. A red line means that you have printed material. A green line says you don't. So I asked Holly, <laughs> Which line should we stand in? Because we know if we stand in the red line, they're going to search our bags. Do you remember? I do. So what would you say? I said we have to stand in the red line because we do have printed material and we have to be truthful about it. We'll just trust yeah. God with what happens. <laughs> so, so we get off the plane and sure enough, there's a red line and a green line. We get in the red line. I don't Do you remember what happened from your perspective? Yes. Yeah, so we're in this line. We're praying in our head and... There was this guard up kind of on a tower overlooking everybody and he points at us out of everyone in this huge line and I'm sure you were really nervous. But <laughs> I'm just like he's sweating. like kind of yelling in Chinese and we don't really know what's happening but he basically gets us and makes us go out of the line and through customs and then we were done. And he didn't search us and he didn't make us wait in line and for some reason out of all of the people he, we were the only ones that he picked to not do yeah. anything. <laughs> that, it was amazing. I, I couldn't believe it because, as you just said, only two people on this whole 747 got to bypass customs. Yeah. And it was you and I. And we all of a sudden <laughs> found ourselves on the street. We didn't even know what door. He said, go through this door. Yeah. And it was the outside door. And we said, that, Lord, thank you. It seemed like a miracle at the time. At the minimum, it was, you know, 300 to one shot <laughs> because, because that's how many people were on the plane. Uh, so now we were in China and we had the Bibles. And 
at some later show I'm going to tell you, and you won't get to be on that one, but how we disperse those Bibles. But one other thing that was really a miracle to us that I wanted to share and have you share, we decided that we would go find the Beijing Zoo. Yes. And how do you go? You have to go on the subway. And can you tell that story? Well, about? yes, so there's no Google Maps or anything. And I was already very nervous because when we were on the subway, I don't know if you remember, but I actually got separated. So my dad was on the outside of the train and I was on the inside and it was so crowded. And we finally got connected again, but I was so scared. And she's I had, 10 years old. I had not seen any other Americans or people that spoke English at all on this whole trip. They would kind of pick my hair because I, it was blonde and they thought it was unique. Um, and so um, we finally got to where we thought the zoo would be. We, we counted <laughs> exits. We got off on like the fourth stop or something. Yeah, and then we couldn't find anything. <laughs> no. There's so, nothing there. So we get <laughs> off and... There is no zoo. We went down every, every no signs, uh, road that we could find, could not find the zoo. And I just was about to give up. And Holly said, <laughs> why don't we pray? So we prayed. And then as we opened our eyes, there was two Americans riding by on their bicycles. And we were like, can you help us find the zoo? And they said, yeah, we've just been. We'll take you or something yeah, like that. Yeah. And that was really for me as a 10-year-old to see. It was like they were angels sent by God because we didn't know what we would do. And it's not a life or death situation if we find the zoo. But it, to me, showed me that God really cares about the day-to-day -day life. And we can ask him to help us. And he's really present in, in our lives. And so I hope you guys <laughs> didn't miss the one thing that Holly had said earlier. We had not seen one American in five days in Beijing. Not one. No, not, no tourist. No, nothing. no was... tourist. No, no one. Yeah. And so when we said amen from that prayer, look up it to was... see two Americans it from was... San Diego, by the way. Yeah. The only other time on the trip we saw one person at a restaurant. But, I mean, that yeah. was it. And so yeah. I think they were really sent by God for sure. Well, as a dad, it was such an amazing uh, confirmation. Well, first of all, I love that I had given up. I said, let's just get back on the train. And Holly said, no, let's pray. And I thought, you know, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I had no idea. What could, how could God answer that prayer? Hmm. I, there was no way, humanly speaking, he could. Hmm. And then you see those two. Yeah. <laughs> It cracks me up to this day. <laughs> it was pretty amazing. It, 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 it was. I mean, getting the Bible through was awesome, too. And I look forward to being able to tell the stories of, of, of even how we disperse those Bibles. But anyway, so as you can tell, we actually filmed this out here. And uh, behind us is the, the Rhine River again. We're, we're down the road from Bonn. Yesterday, we shot a... A segment in Bonn but uh, as you can see it's a cloudier day but the Rhine is still beautiful Lovely. and what do you now you get to live here I do it's very nice <laughs> it's awesome huh we do love it it's really really beautiful and amazing churches like you see in the background and yeah. great school and we're yeah. very blessed but we do miss the grandparents yeah <laughs> it's it's hard and I, I so folks I hope you got to see the the show about if you didn't go back on YouTube and watch yesterday's episode where we talk about how we grandparents can keep in touch with both our kids and our grandkids and that's really an important one too but I did want to share this one it was uh, a key one and I want to let me just close with with that verse again and uh, and it says while God bore witness by signs and wonders and various miracles when you see answered prayer in your life, would you remember, please, to thank God who listens and answers? Hey, it's been great being with you, Holly. What's the word for goodbye? Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen, everyone. See you <laughs> soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>